Florida's governor wants an investigation of Sunday's deadly pileup in Florida. 911 tapes show that limited visibility appears to have played a role in another crash that happened just before the multi vehicle accident that killed 10 people. As Mark Strassman reports, the 911 tapes tell the story of a chaotic and deadly morning. Among the outstanding questions from the I-75 pileup, why the smoky highway was reopened when disaster followed within minutes. I, I think I heard another crash back there. Okay, so another crash? Drivers in 22 cars and trucks headed blindly into a mix of fog and smoke and a series of collisions and fireballs. Oh, oh my gosh, is yeah, anyone? Another one. Oh my goodness, this is bad. How many vehicles have been involved that you've seen so far? We, we cannot see, man. We cannot see. Bert Thomas remembers driving, and suddenly all he saw was blackness. I stuck my hand out the window, and I could not see my bracelet. But he could hear the thuds of more collisions. How many crashes? I thought I heard three. Three vehicles hit. Clear sign of impact. Clear sign of impact. Never heard any squeals, no brakes. He's coming too fast. Here comes another one. Oh, yeah, see, there it goes. Another unanswered question. What started the marsh fire near the highway that caused all the smoke? The two things we know that it wasn't is not from a prescribed or controlled burn because there was no prescribed or controlled burning in the area, and there was no lightning in the area either. If the marsh fire was intentionally set, this could become a criminal case, arson or other charges. Ten people were killed. Four years ago this month, a 70-car pileup, also on a smoky Florida highway, killed four people. Any similarities between that road disaster and this one becomes something else for investigators to explore along I-75's disaster zone. Mark Strassman, CBS This Morning, Gainesville, Florida.